Welcome to the Prophecy Club. I have got Dr. Daniel Daves on the phone with me today. He's been a pastor for 20 years. He has been full-time missionary for eight years. He lives in Costa Rica, and he's had a couple of dreams about America, specifically and the things that are coming in the future. So, Daniel, welcome to the Prophecy Club. Thank you so much for having me. What a blessing. What was happening in your life, and how did you come to be in a position where God would give you these dreams? Well, I've been in ministry for quite a few years. I have understood dreams and visions. I've always been a visionary. As I've gotten older, I've uh, had a few significant dreams in my life that the Lord gave me. I wondered if they were really from Him, but time proved them out that these significant dreams really were from Him. And uh, so I came with a foundation of understanding when a certain type of dream hits me, I know it's from the Lord. So in 2008, I was uh, moving along in my ministry in Dallas, Texas, getting ready to actually to take a, a ministry trip, and I had a dream about 4 o'clock in the morning that changed my life. This dream was a three-part dream, and I really wasn't too involved with politics or with who the presidents are, or, or, you know, I was busy with ministry, and I knew who I was going to vote for in 2008. Wasn't involved in politics or in what was going on in America. I guess my focus was on ministry. But this dream opened my eyes to some things I had never, ever considered before. So I had this three-part dream, and in scene one of this dream, I was in a downtown Dallas area. I'm sure if you've been there, you know the area where the JFK assassination took place. Right. I was down in that, in that zone, and there were multitudes of people standing around quietly, and, and everyone was just waiting for an announcement. And as I looked up on the buildings in Dallas, there were big screen televisions all over on these buildings, and there was nothing on the big screens, but we were all clearly standing there and waiting for an announcement of some kind to be made. Well, suddenly a government official of some kind stood up on a podium on these big screens and he began to speak and he had a three-part sentence or statement that he made what he did was he said ladies and gentlemen i have an announcement to make america as you've known it has ceased to exist all property lines have been dissolved and the u.s dollar is worthless now when he said these three statements the people suddenly began to panic and they began to run for their lives and i noticed in this dream they seemed to be all running west people were jumping in their cars they were heading west my son was actually with me along with a friend of mine and his son they had been kind of playing over by a sidewalk and i had to run over and literally grab these two young boys and rip them out of the way of a fleeing person ran his car right up on the sidewalk. If I wouldn't have pulled him out of the way, these boys would have been hit and killed. And so there was a great panic, and I had a great concern for the people because I, I knew they had just lost everything they had ever known or ever thought that they had ever had. They had just lost it, and they were homeless. They were, their nation was gone, their money was gone, and they were frantically, again, heading west. Well, that was part one of this dream. Suddenly, I was in part two, and I was standing at a filling station, a gas station, like a convenience store, and I was standing by an Indian man, and this, this was a man from India, from the nation of India. He clearly was the manager or, or the owner of this station, and I noticed off to the side of the station, he had built a tall fence, like a chain link fence with barbed wire around the top. And inside of this fence were tractors, lawnmowers, tools, all kinds of things that had, he had gathered. And the gas station was full of people. I saw this family rush in in their car. They had a trailer, an open trailer in the back. There were things tied to the top of their car. The whole family was in there and you could see they were a little agitated. The man jumped out of his car ran up to this man that I was standing beside, and he said, I need a tank of gas. He pulled out some dollars out of his billfold, and the Indian man said, I don't take U.S. dollars. And the man, surprised, said, well, what would you take? And the man said to him, what do you have? 
they began to walk back and look inside the trailer and as if this man was going to barter or trade something, a hard asset or a tool or something for a tank of gas. Well, suddenly I was in scene three of this dream, and I was standing in what I would call a situation war room where maybe the president and high government officials were at. President Bush was standing in the middle of the room, and he had his hands up in the air. He was worn out, tired, and his hands were up as if, leave me alone. I'm tired. I don't want to hear anymore. And there were counselors all around him. They were all talking. They had clipboards, all dressed in nice suits, and they were talking and trying to give him direction. And he was standing there as if he didn't want to hear anymore. I noticed on the walls of this room there were all kinds of uh, video screens, and there were different world events going on around him. Well, there was a man standing beside me as I watched this, and he looked like a uh, Secret Service agent. And he told me, he said, the president has fought a long, hard battle. I said, yes, I can see that. He said he has been fighting a very great enemy. And I noticed that the, the president looked very, very worn out. And he said, do you know who this enemy is? And so I was thinking, trying to figure out who this would be, and so I just, I happened to throw out, I said, socialism? And he said with a very stern voice, communism. And the dream ended. I sat up in my bed. When I sat up in my bed, I couldn't figure out for sure if I had just left reality or if I was coming back to reality. The dream was so real to me, I was literally there in those three parts. So, of course, I had never seen or heard such a thing like this, but I immediately wrote it down and began to contemplate. It took over three months for me just to get a handle on what I believe the Lord spoke to me in this dream. The big screen. We had Ken Peters in back in 1999, I believe it was, made a fantastic DVD called I Saw the Tribulation. And this dream he had when he was called 25 years ago to be a prophet lasted all night long. He says, I managed to wake up in the dream. I went back to sleep, and he said, the dream started again just as if you pushed play and pause. In other words, it started immediately. And he saw buildings yeah. that were not built there that then later were built, and many other things in the dream were confirmed. He saw the mark of the beast, many things. But my point is, one of the things he saw, which I've only heard now you being the second person say that they saw, and that is big screens. He said he saw like mylar film that were covering the whole side of a huge building. And it's maybe, you know, a uh, hundred stories tall and many, many windows wide. I mean, the whole side of a building is this TV screen. It's it, like mylar film. They've figured out a way to make the image absolutely huge. Is that what you saw? That's exactly what I saw. And while the buildings in Dallas were maybe 15 or 20 stories tall, the screens pretty much took up the whole side of those buildings. And they yeah, were I don't know exactly how many way. stories, but I mean, the point is they were huge, and they were like thin like mylar, right? Sure like were. aluminum foil, in other words, yep. thin. You also said that you saw them say that property lines were dissolved and the dollar is worthless. To me, when the property lines are dissolved and the dollar is worthless, essentially the United States is no more. I mean, all wealth is gone. Everybody is poverty stricken. Which was the first statement. Yeah, the first statement was America as you have known it has ceased to exist, which then is backed up with a U.S. dollar that is worthless and all, he said, all property lines have been dissolved. For me, property lines, and, and I've had a few years now to contemplate and chew on this and, and write a book about it. When you dissolve property lines, you have just destroyed the rule of law itself. To me, when the property lines are dissolved, it's saying that communism has taken over in full. What we just saw last Thursday by the Supreme Court upholding Obamacare is we just were told that our nation is now a communist nation. Essentially, they're lowering the property lines by saying everybody has to pay for health care and everybody gets health care, and that's lowering the financial lines. That's lowering the barriers, so everybody's money is everybody's money. I believe so. 
furthermore, I believe, as the statement said, every or all property lines have been dissolved. So we've just seen this in Obamacare. But if you've not seen it before Obamacare, we're going to see it after that all property lines are going to be challenged. And as you see people from all areas of government, business, in this day, we're going to see every property line and every rule of law challenged. We're seeing people walk over the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. They're stepping boldly over property lines of every kind. So while Obamacare, one of the beginning points, we are not finished seeing the dissolving of property lines, and that's in accord with communism. Yes, well, communism, and I probably should say this. Uh, My wife and I were talking about this last night. When the pilgrims first came over, they decided that they were going to have all things common like they did in Acts. And that winter, there were several of them that starved to death. I mean, literally, they starved and they froze to death. The second year, they said, we're going to do it different. And that is every person eats their own food. And if you don't grow your own food, then you're not going to eat. And they had such a bumper crop. That's what started Thanksgiving. So, America is not supposed to be a communist nation. We are not supposed to have all things common. We are not supposed to do things like Medicare, Medicaid, and this Obamacare. As I was explaining to my wife last night, I said, look, having medical care is not a right. It is a privilege. And if a person has diligently saved up money for their elderly years and they have the money, then they should be able to buy the health care that they want. But it should not be that they have Medicare, Medicaid, and just forces the rest of the world or the rest of the nation to provide health care for them. That will be right back after this message. I just made the revised Revelation verse by verse 2.0. The first DVD was me teaching Revelation with my finger in the Bible. The new 2.0 version has 612 PowerPoint slides, 212 pictures, and 10 charts. The topics are, what is the message of the seven churches? Who are the four horsemen? Is Revelation layered or sequential? What is a probable time for the tribulation to begin? Who are the beasts from the sea, the earth, and the pit? What does is fallen is fallen mean? What does it look like the day Jesus returns? Is the day of the Lord a year, a month, or a 24-hour day? Who is the woman who rides the beast? Who is the false prophet? Does the new Jerusalem come down at the end of 6,000 years or 7,000 years? When do we get our mansions? Are there one or two judgments on America? When is the door shut to the five virgins? Does everyone who survives Armageddon automatically get a glorified body? Two-thirds of mankind is killed in the tribulation. What happens to the other one-third? Eight hours, four DVDs, valued at $120. The upgrade gift amount is $30. The full version, $75. Call 785-266-1112. Ask for 2.0. That's Revelation verse-by-verse, second version, 2.0. Call 785-266-1112 or go to prophecyclub.com. Revelation verse by verse 2.0. The Prophecy Club is having a summer blowout. You get six DVDs of your choice valued at $180 for a gift of $100, but it expires August 31st. Not available on the internet. You got to call 785-266-1112 to place your order. That's six Prophecy Club DVDs for a gift of $100. Call 785-266-1112. Get yourself informed. Don't let the tricks of the devil deceive you. Get six DVDs for a gift of $100. Call 785-266-1112. And now, back to the program the rest of the world or the rest of the nation to provide health care for them. That is communism. Communism is taking money from one person and giving it through the government to another person. Whereas capitalism is you eat what you grow. And if you didn't grow it, you don't get to eat it. So Medicare, Medicaid, Obamacare, it is all by definition communism. Now, when the angel spoke to Dimitri, he said, The fall of America would start with an internal revelation started by the communists. So there are communists in this nation, and those people that don't want people to eat what you grow, they are, by definition, a communist. Absolutely, and we in America need to take a 
strong lesson on who communists are. Now, we know they've changed their name to progressive, but one of the ten planks of communism, if you ever Google that, ten planks of communism, you'll find that most of those have been laid without a whimper in America already. And one of those planks in communism is that the Communist Party secedes or backs down and joins with one of the major political parties. And we know now by the communist writings in America that they have hijacked and taken over the Democratic Party. You said that property lines will be dissolved and that the dollar will be worthless, but then you saw panic by all. In other words, this brings a panic across the nation, correct? That's correct. Now, let me tell you what my understanding or interpretation of that is at this time. And I don't know exactly. I've spoken the dream over and over to people, and maybe they will have actually a more definite interpretation. But when I saw clearly in this dream, I saw people heading west. I think there's a potential that this may mean that America is going to return to the Lord. Now, it's going to be a day late and a dollar short. But whenever you head west, my understanding, as I've learned about the tabernacle of Moses, in order to enter that tabernacle, you have to go through the eastern gate, which means you're heading west. Then you head into the holy place and the holy of holies. So our progression to God, from man's standpoint, is heading west. I just made a radio program just the other day, and... I was talking about the Canary Islands, how the Canary Islands have these giant volcanoes that have in the past split in two and caused giant tsunamis. And they are now saying that the Canary Islands are having earthquakes, and I'm reading here, increases in seismic activity on the island has seen literally hundreds of earthquakes, and they're saying that a bulge has developed in the island, lifting it five centimeters in four days. In other words, of course, my wife was shown that there is going to be a 200-foot tsunami hit one of the coastlines. She didn't know whether it was east coast or west coast, but if a Canary Island volcano splits in two, it will slide down into the ocean and it will cause a 200-foot tsunami according to the Discovery Channel and their research. Not mine, that's what they say. So there's a high probability that the reason that people begin to move west is because the eastern seaboard is wiped out. A 200-foot tsunami hitting the eastern seaboard would probably go, I don't know, 25 miles inward, destroying everything, killing everybody. So we're talking about a major chunk of America's population and financial strength would be knocked out. It would be a catastrophe like we couldn't even begin to imagine. That might be a reason for going West. All right, now let's go to another question. Okay, Daniel, tell us about your book. We've put a book together that explains this, both dreams in detail. It's called Warning America, Attempted Hostile Takeover Exposed. And we are exposing this underground action that is taking place right under our noses through this book. And uh, the book just came out in July. It's brand new, and it's getting uh, very good results, and people are becoming armed. Brothers and sisters, if you'd like to have his book, Warning America, call Prophecy Club, 785-266-1112. That's Prophecy Club, 785-266-1112. You can also check online, prophecyclub.com. Then in the second phase, you saw that the dollar was worthless. A man wanted to buy gasoline and could not buy gasoline with a dollar. Tell us about that. He, along with everyone else, was frantically filling their tanks to try to head west. Clearly, they were getting out of town, and they were heading somewhere needed gas. Now, the only uh, thing that I can think of being in uh, financial markets myself, and I train and educate people in proper finance, godly kingdom finance, one of the things that I learned from this portion of the dream is that many Americans are going to be caught When the statement comes, they're going to be caught out of place. They're going to be caught with dollars when the dollar is worthless. And they're going to be forced to trade their hard assets. And the true value and the true wealth that they have accumulated, they're going to have to trade that for consumables. 
I teach people, and I live this myself, never, ever put yourself in position where you have to trade a tractor for a tank of gas. You never want to be in that position. And this part of this dream solidified that for me. Do you think that gold and silver would be valuable to have in that time, or will it also be worthless? I believe gold and silver is God's money. Well, I know that God told the Israelites when they were about to be removed from Egypt by his divine hand, he said, get items of gold, silver, and clothing, and this is the manner by which you will plunder the Egyptians. So God used gold and silver in that day to pay back the Israelites 400 years of back salary and give them everything they needed to move forward in his kingdom plan. Okay, now life. why did Bush appear in the dream? I mean, are, is this saying that Bush is going to somehow be involved with leadership in America again? And was this, this the was, senior bu Bush or the junior Bush? This was junior Bush, and it was in 2008 while he was still in power. However, I believe myself that, the, and I've heard this from other people who have had prophetic type of dreams, that when a president appears in a dream, it's not necessarily indicative of that president himself, but it's speaking about the leadership of the nation. That makes sense to me because I know that our great nation has been fighting communism for hundreds of years, and our great nation is tired, and our great nation is being attacked by what I call hyenas who are jumping this nation right now in her tiredness. And so I think that that president was probably indicative of the, the leadership in America rather than an individual. So you're saying that leadership will be tired of fighting the enemy and specifically that the enemy that America is fighting is really not the terrorism, but really communism, correct? That's my understanding. And we can talk about terrorism, but terrorism... I believe is only one small segment of what I call the global elitist plans to effectively communize the entire world. There's one great nation standing in the way of the Antichrist spirit, and that great nation is America. And that's why I believe the great attacks are on right now in America. She's been fighting a long, hard battle. She's a bankrupt in fighting a long, hard battle. And uh, she's tired, and she's being jumped right now and being attacked because she's the only one. If America's light goes out, there is no other nation to step up and take the charge. That's my opinion. I just made a new DVD called Revelation Verse by Verse, and I talked about the Mayflower Compact, about how there are only two nations in world history that have made a compact with God, and that is Israel and America. Ours was made November the 11th in 1620 when the Mayflower was setting in the Princeton Harbor, I believe is the correct harbor, and they hadn't even got off the boat yet, and they signed this agreement forming a new nation for the furtherance of the Christian faith. Now, apparently communism is attacking America terribly, and this covenant that we made with God is the only thing standing in the way of keeping communism at bay. Now, here's the question. Do you have any idea how long it might be until these things you saw in your dream come to pass? I'm not super good at timing things. However, I can tell you this, that the three statements that were made in the beginning, part one of this dream, I believe have already happened. America has ceased to exist as we've known it. The U.S. dollar, in my opinion, is worthless. It's over. And we could talk for days about that. And the property lines, we are seeing now the manifestation of a decision that somehow was made somewhere in a government room that said we're going to dissolve every property line, including the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the rule of law, everything we've known. And, and that property line that the, there's an attempt to dissolve your Mayflower Compact that you're talking about, to dissolve that. How do we dissolve that property line? How do we dissolve the covenant we've made with God for America? We lead Americans into debauchery and into a lifestyle that alienates them from the presence of God. And we have done a great job of alienating an entire generation away from God's presence, from prayer, from the Word of God, and the list goes on. Are you familiar with Dimitri Dudeman? Just a little bit. 
essentially there's a time coming when Revelation 18 is going to be fulfilled and America is going to fall. Russia will attack and defeat America in one hour. Do you see your dream coming to pass before or after the bombing of America? I would imagine it would have to be before in that scenario. However, in order to disable America from being able to defend herself from a Russian attack or a communist attack, if you take the U.S. dollar out, the world reserve currency, if you take that from America, if it fails, then there's not an ability to buy a bullet to defend yourself if your money is gone. And so this may be a prelude to what you're talking about. Yes, I agree with you. That's what I was thinking, too, but I wanted to get your take on it. So in my opinion, this could be coming close, maybe even after Obama gets in again. We had Michael Boldea on, grandson of Demetri Dudman. He said that Obama, when he gets in office this next time, will take his mask off. And, and I personally believe there's not a question. I think that this guy's going to get in. And, of course, we had interviewed Terry Hale. He also had a dream, and he was shown that Obama will not only be the next president, but the final president. All of that sort of makes sense with what you're talking about. It sure does. It all falls totally in line with this dream. Now, can I share with you the second dream I had in 2009 which really finalizes this deal. Absolutely. I cannot wait to say yes to that. We're going to start that off in tomorrow's broadcast. To you folks, be sure to stay tuned for the next broadcast. We've been talking with Dr. Daniel Daves, and we're going to continue that in the next broadcast. If you'd like to have his book, Warning America, call Prophecy Club, 785-266-1112. That's Prophecy Club, 785-266-1112. You can also check online prophecyclub.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your prayers and your gifts of support. God bless. Prayerfully consider supporting the Prophecy Club with your gifts of support. We would not be here without your prayers and generous financial support. Now from the Prophecy Club, some exciting opportunities for you. I just made the revised Revelation verse by verse 2.0. The first DVD was me teaching Revelation with my finger in the Bible. The new 2.0 version has 612 PowerPoint slides, 212 pictures, and 10 charts. The topics are, what is the message of the seven churches? Who are the four horsemen? Is Revelation layered or sequential? What is a probable time for the tribulation to begin? Who are the beasts from the sea, the earth, and the pit? What does is fallen is fallen mean? What does it look like the day Jesus returns? Is the day of the Lord a year, a month, or a 24-hour day? Who is the woman who rides the beast? Who is the false prophet? Does the new Jerusalem come down at the end of 6,000 years or 7,000 years? When do we get our mansions? Are there one or two judgments on America? When is the door shut to the five virgins? Does everyone who survives Armageddon automatically get a glorified body? Two-thirds of mankind is killed in the tribulation. What happens to the other one-third? Eight hours, four DVDs, valued at $120. The upgrade gift amount is $30. The full version, $75. Call 785-266-1112. Ask for 2.0. That's Revelation verse-by-verse, verse, second version. 2.0. Call 785-266-1112 or go to prophecyclub.com. Revelation verse by verse 2.0. The Prophecy Club is having a summer blowout. You get six DVDs of your choice valued at $180 for a gift of $100, but it expires August 31st. Not available on the internet. You got to call 785-266-1112 to place your order. That's six Prophecy Club DVDs for a gift of $100. Call 785-266-1112. Get yourself informed. Don't let the tricks of the devil deceive you. Get six DVDs for a gift of $100. Call 785-266-1112. 12.